The map and flat map operator can sometimes be the source of a lot of confusion, and determining which one to use can always be kind of something that will confuse you throughout time. Very often that I've had to look at the documentation and play around with a few examples to understand what I'd normally need to use. Now working with collections, most often you want to use the map operator because you just want to return values and perform transformations on those values across all of the items in a list or an iterable of some fashion. However, let's determine what the differences are. Here we have a class on line 23 and it represents a shopping bag. And in each shopping bag, we have a number of items that go into a bag. And as when you go grocery shopping, you usually have a number of bags. So one bag has grapes, apples, and oranges. The next bag has milk, eggs, and pasta. And the last bag has some bread, naan, and cake in it. And we have basically a list of grocery bags. And those are going to be our grocery bags that we have from the grocery store. Now, we may have also went and purchased some clothing. And so we went to some, a few retail shops. And those bags, we have three of those as well. We have a shirt, pants, and trousers. Uh, we say trousers, so we have shirts, pants, and trousers. We have socks and shoes, and then another bag has a jacket, a sweater, and a scarf in it. So we're going to use these two lists. So basically, these two groupings of bags. So we have a list of three shopping bags, and up here we have a list of three shopping bags. And we're going to perform a flat map on it, and then print the result. And then we're going to perform a map on the retail bags to see what the differences are. So here we take grocery bags dot flat map. And then what we do is for the transformation function, we just tell it to, Hey, return all of the items. And so if we look at the declaration of flat map, it says returns a single list of all the elements yielded from the results of the transform function being invoked on each element of the original collection. That's confusing. So basically what it's saying is like, look, what's going to flatten out. If this is a list, it's kind of going to flatten it all out. Now, if we look at the map, We've already looked at this before. It says returns a list containing the results of applying the given transformation function to each element in the original collection. So that makes sense. Uh, all this function is really doing is saying, hey, map over uh, all of the bags. And then we're saying, and give me all the items. Okay, so let's do something here. Let's just run this to see what the result is. If we run this, you'll see down here, the flat map actually says, hey, I'm, I've grabbed a, when inside of each bag, I've grabbed the list of things inside of the bag. I've grabbed the list of groceries that are in each bag. And I got back each list of groceries. And then basically what it is, I flattened them into one single list. So it's flattened them all into one single list. In this case, flat map, when you have a bag of groceries and each bag of groceries has many items in it, it's like taking everything out and putting it on the counter. So you're flat mapping it. You flat mapped everything out onto the counter. It's all right there in front of you. Now, the retail bags and we're using the map operator, what we're basically saying is, well, I have a bunch of items in these in this bag and I may have taken all these items out, but I'm still leaving them in little groups. I have a group number one, which contains the shirts, pants and trousers and the group number two, the socks and shoes and the group number three, which is a jacket, sweater and scarf, but I don't have the bag anymore because I've taken them out of bags. And you may be wondering, what do you mean I've taken them out of bags? So let's do this real quick. Let's say print line retail bags. If I run this again, we're going to see a couple of print lines here. So here we go. We have three shopping bags. So if I just print out the bags themselves, that's like putting three bags on the shop on the three shopping bags on the counter. Now, if I were to take those items out and put them on the counter in the same groups that they were already in, that's what retail bags is doing. It's just removing the bag, but I'm still grouping everything together. Now, flat map basically says, hey, look, I've just taken out all the groceries and I just put them all on the counter. They're all right here in front of me. I just kind of put them out one right next to each other. There's no groupings. We're just one, one after the other sequential ordering. So the best way to usually think of this is if you have a list of a list of something, so list of lists, then at that point in time, you need to start thinking about, all right, maybe I need to use flat map if I need to kind of get into each individual item and combine them into a larger list that's congruent. However, if I just need to operate on each item in a particular group, then perhaps I just need to use map. So list of lists, think flat map, everything else I default back to map. And then of course, if you ever get confused, hop into the documentation. I hope that helps.